venue. Paimon's really looking forward to hearing everyone's poems. Well said, Paimon. I am too. All right, let's head off for the final day of poetry. The freestyle section. Looks like everyone's already gathering. Huh? Looks like we're a few people short today. I guess not everybody. But, you know, Mika, Chongyun, Diona. Morning, friends. Singcho said he wants to take some time and focus on writing poems, so he'll join us later. Ah, fair enough. When are we presenting? Noelle has other duties today, so she asked me to tell everyone not to wait up for her. Aw, she doesn't get to be here for the final day. That's a little sad. Uh, okay, well, never mind. What about Kelly Roy, though? Oh, yeah. She said she'd be here. She's the most important one. I got here really early, but I haven't seen her yet. I mean, it is still pretty early. We're, we are right on time. It's like 801. Are you talking about the girl with the blue hair? I saw her on the bridge near Dihua Marsh during my morning training. Oh? The same bridge you found her on last time? She looked a little upset, so I didn't want to disturb her. Actually, no, that wasn't you. That was Sing Cho. Noel. And I forget who the third was. Upset? Oh no, what should we do? Was it something we said last night? Oh, Paimon's worried. Hmm, we should go find her, Paimon. But now I think she's thinking about the person she left. I the agree. Story. If she's run into some kind of trouble, I'd like to help her. Hmm, it's because you're a good kid, uh, good guy, Mika. Huh? You're all going? Then I'm coming too. Shall we start with the bridge? We're all here a little early, so there should be time. Sounds like a plan. That is where she was last seen. Good idea. We'll be back in a jiffy. Well, they're coming with us, Paimon. At least that's how it sounded. Heart of the Deep. We're gonna finally reveal her identity. Where exactly is she? Ah, I see. Kalaroe, where are you? You in the water? Oh, so this is the place? We ran into her here yesterday, too. Really? I thought that was further west. She looked like something was weighing on her east? mind then as well. I guess this does look like the same bridge. It's also not far from where we were dropping those leaves. Oh, yeah. Good point, Paimon. Huh. Well, someone's back leaves? there. Busy matching couplets we forgot to mention. Yeah, we found like a leaf poem. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder. Could Miss Callie Roy have been the one who wrote that poem on the leaf? It is the obvious choice. And was my initial assumption, but hmm, hard to say. Hmm? What makes you say that? Oh, sorry. Uh <laughs> Nothing. Well, uh, nothing concrete. Uh, just a hunch, I guess. Well, what is the hunch? It's just... That poem on the leaf kind of gave me the same feeling as when I saw her yesterday. And so much sadness. Ah. Uh, yeah. Now that you mention it, this is upstream from where we found the poem. Huh? You're right. It, it's where we, uh... Well, pretty close to here is where we dropped off the response. Hey, look! Over there! Another leaf! It could just be a leaf. I think I can actually see the writing on it, though. Wow, you're right! And this one has writing on it, too! Excellent eyes, Paimon. After that leaf! You going in after it, Paimon? I didn't think so. Where is it? La la la. Oh no. Is it drifting away? I think it's getting further and further away from us. Oh, why does it have to float so quickly? <laughs> Seriously. Oh, the current's carrying it. Hey. Hi, duck. 
Uh-huh. Uh-oh, hilly trolls. Also, we're gonna drown soon. Let's see. Hey. Leave us alone. Oz, reveal thyself. Stand clear. Jerks. Can't you just fly over and grab it? Fly over? What do I look like? A bird? Um, but Paimon can't Oh, swim. Paimon. What if Paimon accidentally falls <laughs> into the water? Yeah. I'm on, I'll just fish you out again. Like I did last time, remember? Is the current finally stopping here? It Can't stopped. Get... Oh, excellent. No! Well, it's not going anywhere, Paimon. It's on the shore. <laughs> right? Where is it? There it is. Whew. We finally caught it. I nah, I can't really read anything on there. Are the words still legible or have they been washed out? Looks like the ink's intact. Let Paimon take a look at what it says. The desire remains, but the time is past. The boy by the spring grows frail too fast. But when dreams flow to fruition, where streams join the sea, we'll journey on an endless reverie. Oof, that's a good one, but also kind of sad. And yeah, it's about her regrets about not being able to meet the boy anymore. Huh? This is related to the poem we wrote in reply yesterday. She must have picked up one of our leaves. Hmm. Spring. Young boy. Hmm. It's looking a lot like Callie Roy was the one who wrote this. Yeah, I'm pretty confident on that. She seems to care a lot about that story, huh? For a good reason. I mean, she is the focus of it. Actually, when Paimon first saw her, Paimon was wondering. The, that she looked like a certain person? Do you think... Is it possible that she's a... It's exceedingly likely. I'd be very shocked if she was not. I mean, she looks just like, um, Idea. Let's just focus on finding her first. Based on the current and accounting for wind strength, everyone, please follow me. You're a good tracker. That is really far away, a whole kilometer. Oh, that's fun. So, in game, that is what a kilometer is. Cool. So, I think that means that it has about like 11 kilometers from corner to corner there. That's kind of fun. Give or take. It wasn't exactly it. It wasn't exact. Just eyeballing it, but. This should be far enough upstream. Let's split up and search the area. Sure, just let me deal with this first. I'm on, you're gonna. You know. Encourage that giant lava troll over there to come at us. Are you Kelly Roy? Oh no, she's being accosted by a bunch of hilly trolls. You leave her alone. I mean, she's probably oh, fine, she's but. There we 
go. You okay, Callie Rowey? Callie Rowey, are you okay? Oh, she turned into. Wait, is she a mimic? <gasps> What's that? Oh. She's actually not an ocean. An oceanid. It's a huge water droplet. Very astute. Good observation, Diona. That. That's actually a surprise. This is exactly what I saw the other day. <laughs> Large water droplet? Huh? Uh, why are you all looking at me like that? I don't think the water droplets have ever been able to communicate with us when they're not transformed. Also, I wonder... Does that mean this... Mm, Kali Roe is... Based off of another person like some of the other water droplets were? Since she's not a true oceanid? Yeah, sorry. That voice is definitely Kelly Roy's. Uh, how did this happen? Uh, please wait a moment. It's okay. Water droplet turns back into Kelly Roy's oh, human no. form. Oh no! Did I use up too much energy? I guess so. How did you? What's going on here, Miss Kelly Roy? Are you some kind of adeptus? Not quite. No. I'm so sorry for deceiving you all for so long. Actually, I'm an Oceanid who flowed here from really? Fontaine long ago. Then why were you a water droplet just now? I've seen Oceanids before. And, well, they're a bit different. What's an Oceanid? Ah, the Grandmaster has mentioned them before. The Oceanids were the familiars of the former Hydro Archon. Really? Uh, they all fled Fontaine after the Archon died and ah. settled across the world. Interesting. I wonder who the former Hydro Archon, former Hydro Archon was. Also, one I wonder what killed them. I'm sure that those are answers that might be brought up during the uh, Fontaine. Storyline. That's correct. Though, to tell you the truth, I can't even completely recall how I found myself here. Really? I have a vague impression of my ancestral home, but I can't recall clearly anything I saw on my journey. You sure you're an oceanid, an oceanid, not a, uh, not a water droplet. All I know is that by the time I arrived in Mondstadt, I had lost most of my power and couldn't even sustain a physical form. Maybe that's why. She can't actually take the full Oceanid form. Eventually, I settled in a place called Springvale, where I slowly began to regain my power. Oh. Springvale is a serene and beautiful place. The it water is. that flows through there is clear and pure. Just like the hearts of the people who dwell there. A good place to call home. So you're the Spring Fairy of Springvale? Hmm. Yes, Diona. And I remember you too, you know. When you were little, you often came to the spring at night to speak with me. Aww. Really? You're not messing with me, are you? I don't think she is, Diona. I... Oh, I always thought that was just a local legend. Hmm. You know, in a game like this, I'm inclined to typically believe local legends. Your favorite little pillow, the fish one, its name is Bubbles, isn't Aww, it? Aw, that is adorable, Diona. Uh, yep. Bubbles, a little fish bubble, a pe fish pillow, pillow named Bubbles. All those childhood memories. <sighs> so they weren't just a dream. Hmm. So. If this is true, then all those things written on the leaves. The moonlight flows like silk and honey. The boy by the spring grows old and frail. I see. So you were the ones who found my leaf. Yeah, we were. And a few others. Xiao was there. I think Chong Yun was there. Um, Diona was there. One other. 
No, I think it was just those three. Well, you are correct. The Spring Fairy and Heart of Clear Springs is me. No wonder you were asking us so many questions about it. Yeah. So, the boy from the story... An old man by now. I wonder if we know them. Is Finch. Really? I always loved listening to people's dreams. And still do, to this day. Whether they're beautiful, sad, or filled with emotions I couldn't understand at the time. Hmm. One night, a little boy came to the spring. The tears that fell from his face were more fragile than a moonbeam, and purer than the morning dew. I like humans, and wanted to understand them better. I also wanted to make sense of the feelings contained in his tears that were, then, a mystery to me. And so you became friends. <laughs> yes, we often met under the stars, sharing our stories with one another. And he fell in love. Sometimes, we'd stay up all night and see who would hear the first bird chirping from the boughs, or the first cicada of summer. Aww, that sounds lovely! It really does, Paimon. But, one day, just like the book says, I saw an emotion in Finch's eyes that I couldn't reciprocate. Mm. I felt out of my depth, in uncharted waters. But I knew all too well that we lock folk face a very different fate from that of humans. Whatever was happening, I didn't want it to lead to Finch writing a chapter of his life that he would later come to regret. Oh, Kelly Roy. Also, interesting that's what they call themselves. Lock folk, basically lake folk. I don't think he would have regretted it. Not in the long run. So, I fled and never appeared before him again. Mm, poor kid. Or poor old man now, I should say. Oh, Cali Roy. And poor Cali Roy. My strength returns very slowly. And even after decades, I can only sustain a physical form for a very short time. Mm. Is that... Well, when you say your physical form, are you talking about this form? I once hoped that Finch would be able to move on and meet me when the stars in the night sky have all gone out. But after seeing so many people's stories and hearing about all their dreams... I have gradually come to understand Finch's heart. Oh, Kelly Roy. It's not too late to go talk to Finch. This feeling of wanting to respond to his feelings is surging relentlessly in my chest, and I can no longer restrain it. But I'm also scared. Scared that if I go and see him now, I'll bring nothing but disappointment. I... And even more pain when it comes time to part. But you'll also bring closure. And I think more importantly, I imagine it will actually be happiness. Oh, oh Paimon. It really is a difficult choice. I do think she should go. Mm. Please go see him. Thank you, Mika. Huh? I know Grandpa Finch, and he's a really kind person. Mm. When I was struggling to learn how to draw maps... He was always encouraging me, telling me not to give up, always keep trying, and get out there and have some adventures. <laughs> Aw, and now you've become a great reconnaissance yeah, captain or member. He often tells me stories about his past, but I've never once seen a look of regret or sadness in his face. Just nostalgia, right? And happiness, fondness. And even though Grandpa Finch loves adventures, he still stands there by the spring every day, as if he's waiting for something. Aw. He is. Go to him, Kaliroe. I believe that he's serious about his feelings for you, Miss Kaliroe. He's never stopped hoping that he'll see you again one day. So if you want to see him too, then what are you waiting for? Do it. 
<laughs> wow, Mika. That was great. Huh? Uh, I... I... Oh, sorry. No, it's I okay. I think I got a bit too excited and... And I just thought... Well, it just sort of came out. I'm proud of you. Expressing yourself like that, that was wonderful. <sighs> What's your answer, Kaliroe? We can go together. I understand. That settles it. I've decided. Probably go after the poetry competition, but I doubt there's enough time to get there before that starts. I will go back and see Finch. Yay. You will? You're amazing. That's great. But I'd like to ask all of you for some help. Sure. What do you need help with? Sure. Just say the word. We'll help you any way we can. Would you come to Springvale with me? Of course. To help to bring Finch to my side? I don't think he'll require any help, but we will absolutely be there for you. I cannot maintain this form for much longer, and I'm worried others will see me how I was just before. I, it's fine. I'm still a little curious about your form, your other form. Leave it to me! I'm really close with Grandpa Finch! Also, please keep Finch's and my secret. I wouldn't want Springvale's tranquil waters to become agitated on account of all this. Mm, don't worry. We won't go telling anybody. Your secret is safe with me. I won't tell anyone. <laughs> That's a promise. Great. I can't thank you all enough. It's no problem, Callie Roy. Uh, oh, about to transform back. What's wrong? Are you going to turn back into a water droplet? No, I'm sorry. It's just that my mind's racing. Oh. As much as I want to talk to him again, I'm still worried that I won't have the words when the time comes. Write him a poem. A poem? Yeah. All the things you hide deep inside your heart. Everything you had and never had a chance to say. Hmm. Put them on paper. Okay, good idea. I'll write him a poem. <laughs> Wonderful. And it will be called Heart of Clear Springs. So the name of the uh, former one? That, art, that title already exists. Maybe a sequel? Oh, we're going immediately. Is Finch here? <laughs> you okay, Kelly Roy? You about to lose your form? Are you okay? It's nothing. I'm just scared that I won't be able to maintain this form much longer. Oh, yeah. You could have turned back into a water droplet on the trip here. Okay, don't panic. Wait here, Kelly Roy. I'll go fetch Grandpa Finch. Take it slow, Diona. Finch isn't a young man anymore. He's not as steady on his feet. He'll be fine. I can still hold on a bit longer. Okay, stay strong. You can do it. Don't get strappers going with her. How are you holding up? Would you like some support, Miss Kelly Roy? You can also lean on Paimon if you need. <laughs> Aw, I, you, you're not just gonna. She tries leaning on you. Are you still gonna be able to float, or are you gonna be, you know, pushed to the ground? Thank you, all of you. How about you, Chong Yoon? Anything to say? How are you holding up? No, you can also same. Lean on Thank you. Where is old Finch? Jotun. Miwais. Raph. Ah, there he is. Grab a Finch! Uh, is that Diona? You're back early today. Yeah, she has important news for you. Today can you come with me? Yes, it's a, it's pretty urgent. We need to hurry. Oh? Well, where are we going? Over there, to the waterfall. Yeah. 
It's a surprise. <laughs> Did you catch a nice little fishy? Mm, we, we, we caught something. You won't believe us if we tell you, though. Uh, just come with me already. This is extremely important. But I promised your father that I'd go to... Th Grab a fish! <laughs> no. So, so worried. All right. <laughs> All right. No need to get worked up. I'm right behind you. I can carry you if you need to. If you need it. That's more like it. Now come on. I'll help you. <laughs> oh, Draft's daughter is just like him when she's on a mission. <laughs> Aw. You hear that, Draft? I guess it was his thought. It's okay, Callie Roy. Over here! Over here! It's okay, Grandpa Finch. Take your time. Uh, huh? What's all this? What are all these people doing here? We're emotional support. Don't worry, we'll ignore us. Let's sink into the background. Even Mika's here? <laughs> How's work been going lately? He really is a kindly old man, isn't he? And even some friends from abroad, if I'm not mistaken. You do know that today's not my birthday, don't you? Hmm? Greetings, Mr. Finch. My name is Chong Yoon. We all met at the Poetry Gala, and... Well, there's someone we'd like to introduce you to. Yes. Finch. <gasps> that <laughs> voice... Kelly Rowe. It's her. I didn't think you'd still remember. <laughs> oh, I remember. <laughs> I remember all right. Aww. How could I ever forget? He's got tears and everything. Although your appearance is different than I recall, back then you looked like you'd stepped right out of a fairy tale. <laughs> I wonder what changed. Oh, but I'm one to talk. Uh, of course a fairy from a fairy tale can change forms. Yeah, but she can. In your eyes, I'm probably the one who's changed beyond all recognition. Aw, only a little older. <laughs> oh, even after all these years, you still know just what to say to make me laugh. I thought you were only able to appear in the dead of night. There have been times when I've wondered whether it really was all a dream. It actually does happen to be night right now, but no, we've seen her during the day. I'm sorry I kept you waiting for so long, Finch. Aww. Oh, it can't have been that long. <laughs> it's been but the blink of an eye, really. Aw. Finch is... he's a good guy. Finch, would you like to hear a poem I wrote for you? A poem? You write poetry now? Yes, she does. Well, of course. She's quite good I'd at it, too. I'd be delighted to listen. I'll hang on every word that leaves your lips. Hmm. In that case, let me read you a story about the Spring Fairy. Ooh, yes. These are always fun. Far from my native land, I she roamed. She is an oceanid. In streams I slept, many seasons I met as the sun set and rose. I searched for a garden wow. to call a home. And the moonlight ebbed as the water flowed. What was that? Looked amazing. A soft breeze beckoned me unto a spring. Sleep, weary wanderer. Your journey is over. May the dancing petals sweeten your slumber. Mm. At dawn, I hummed the melody of a distant stream. And the songs in the night serenaded my dreams. A boy's tender tears trembled through the water, stirring me more than any starlight sonata. 
He wove me a wreath from past petals and future buds. This is amazing. I crossed beyond the veil of dreams to the realm of flesh and blood. Look at the love <sighs> that shines from his eager gaze. She was Answer in her ocean the call form of his heart, time. lest this moment go to waste. The kittens and fireflies invited my heartstrings to sing. But I was a stranger to the melody of mankind and knew not how this tune should begin. Aww. As the river of dreams trickled into the ocean blue, every time a crystal fly flapped its wings, older it seemed he grew. Yeah. But I <laughs> learned to fathom human ways each stumbling step I took. He grows older and, and clouds older. clouds of confusion became crystal clear in the vulnerable verse I wrote. Aww. As seed yearns for soil and trees for the sun, a once foreign melody inside my heart sung, and it cried out your name on every string it could strum. Now I give my dream to you. May it be in your slumber a sweet spring to quench your thirst. Now I hand my heart to you. That was absolutely praying my belated promise might meet still with your trust. Absolutely beautiful, Callie Roy. There she is. <sighs> Why were you a water droplet before, though? Wow. That was amazing. Yes. This is how I remember you from when we first met. All those years ago. It really has been a long, old time, hasn't it? It has. It really, really has. But she's here now. Finch, I... It's okay. I understand. Your poem, it... It explains <laughs> everything. It was a beautiful poem. I absolutely adored that. Thank you, Finch. Please, take this. The heart? Yeah. <gasps> it's so beautiful. This is a droplet of water condensed from my oh. own power. Wow. Finch, I don't have a physical form like humans, and I can't stay by your side. I don't know how long it'll be before I can change back into human form again. It's okay. This is the form he cares about. I am i don't think he actually cares what form you take. This is the form he grew to know in the first place. But as long as this droplet remains with you, our hearts will always be connected. Aww. No matter the distance between us. That's poetic. I will always be one with the spring. From this day onwards, if you call me, I will meet you in your dreams. Oh, Kelly Roy. True heart of clear springs. Indeed, Alice. Maybe, uh, you know, a bit late, but I'm happy she managed to make it in time before he passed on. Oh, it's so romantic. <laughs> the look of this. It, well, no. I. I for a second, it seemed like the uh, traveler had a look of disgust on her face for Paimon, but then she's like, shh. <laughs> You've really learned a lot, haven't you? And you don't even mind that the kids are watching. <laughs> no, nah, we're here. Like I said, we're emotional support. Just ignore we're here. Does it bother you? How could it possibly? This is the happiest moment of my life. Aw, Finch. Right up there with when he first met you, I bet. I just worry that once I go to sleep, I won't ever want to wake up again. Oh, well, let's not let that happen. Huh? Don't say that. 
I'm only joking. <sighs> it seems that you still have much to learn. <laughs> well, she has an eternity to learn it. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> Grandpa Finch and Kelly really <laughs> look so happy. Oh, what a perfect moment. <laughs> Indeed, it is perfect, isn't it, Diona? I agree. Diona, thank you for fetching Finch for me. I've never forgotten you either. Mm. Sounds like you were at the spring relatively recently then, when you were there when Grandpa Finch was a kid. And, well, Diona's quite a bit younger than him. I don't know exactly how old she is, but she works in a bar, but, you know. Probably early, mid-twenties, somewhere in there. I used to chat with you a lot. Wasn't it ever annoying? Assuming cat people age the same, I suppose. Of course not. You are one of the truest friends I have in the entire world. Aw. That's sweet. I hope we can be considered true friends to you in the future as well, Kelly Roe. I'm sure we'll run into you again someday. That's why I gave you your gift. So that a part of me could always be with you. Oh? Huh? What gift? Wait. So is Diona's ability to mix delicious drinks from disgusting ingredients a blessing huh. from this water spirit? Well. And if so... Is it also possible that my pure yang spirit is a gift from some being? It's very possible, Ch uh, Chang Yun. <laughs> what is it, Kelly Roy? My physical form is about to disappear. Oh, so you can't actually maintain your oceanid form for very long either. Finch. That's interesting. Yes. I've never regretted meeting you or deciding to talk to you that night. Not once. All these long years. Not for a single moment. This is absolutely wonderful. If I once said it right, it's actually kind of romantic. Straight out of a fairy tale. <laughs> it probably goes without saying, but neither have I. Although it was different from in the stories, that fateful night, I never gave you that kiss. Hmm. This gift that represents my promise and my love, <laughs> I give it to you now. Paimon, close your eyes. Close them! Moments like this, it's only polite to close your eyes. It's okay, everyone. <laughs> oh, I thought it was because we didn't want to ruin Paimon's innocence, but... She's gone now. Oh. What? But Paimon didn't get a chance to say goodbye! Oh. Huh. That's interesting. She couldn't... I wonder what form she takes now, then. I mean, I thought when she said they couldn't maintain a physical form, they meant, you know, the human form, not the oceanid form. Didn't really consider that one a... I mean, I... Yeah, I didn't really consider that one a, a physical form before, but... Grandpa Finch? Don't worry now. She hasn't gone far. Nah. Just like she said, she'll always be one with the spring, by our side mm. and in our dreams. I wonder what happened to her that, you know, made it so she couldn't maintain her form anymore. Not all the Oceanids are like that. Grandpa Finch. Oh, child. Let me stay here a little longer. Of course. 
as long as you need. I'm sure that Chi loves the company. All right, time for the freestyle event. Hey, you're all back. And it looks like you're in much better spirits than before. Yeah, we just had a... Well, I think we promised we wouldn't tell. Hu Tao's a step ahead. She's already talking about printing a poetry anthology. Oh? She said she can't wait for everyone's final words because I'm itching to pull the trigger. <laughs> By which I assume she meant she eagerly anticipates receiving everyone's freestyle poetry submissions to help her close the deal. <laughs> of course. Where have you all been? I've been waiting here forever. We've been dealing with something important. Perhaps they lacked sufficient inspiration and wish to have an emergency communion with nature. There's <laughs> something like that. I'll bet they heard some fine poetry along the way. Yes, we did. Do you... Fenty, do you know? You might. I wouldn't put it past him. I don't think there's... Sec anywhere the wind blows, I don't think there's any secrets being kept from Venti. And he just generally has pretty good insight. How that bard? Does this mean that right from the start you? <laughs> Paimon, cough. We promised. Oh, uh, right from the start, you said you uh, would treat us to a nice meal. Did he? I don't remember that. I'm not opposed. Huh? Uh, did I? I think it is. I think this is worth a meal. <laughs> Very well. Since the traveler agrees, then it looks like I can't just keep I mean, this time. It's not like you're as penniless as Zhang Li, are you? Come on. Diona! Dear Diona, could I trouble you to fix us a couple of your delicious beverages? <laughs> <laughs> you wish. All right. Well, normally I'd never agree, but. Since I happen to be in a good mood today... Oh. You're not even gonna try to make them bad? Huh? So, just what have you guys been up to all this time? Why does it feel like there are some unspoken words hanging in the air here that everyone is privy to but myself? I am so sorry, Singcho, that you missed out on this. But we promise not to tell anyone. Really? It must be the breeze. You're reading way too much into it. Y yeah, yeah <laughs> That's right. We're just, uh, taking a walk. Very conspicuous, Mika. Inspiration walk, since it worked so well last time. <laughs> hmm. So even Mika's in on it? Yeah. All of us. Chong Yoon, how about you tell me what happened on the sly? I've just remembered that I heard about a haunted house recently hey. that you definitely want to check out. Sing Cho. Don't try to bribe him, Chong Yoon. Remember your promise. I'm willing to bet that even your pure Yang spirit won't be able to scare off these demons. I, I'm sure it actually will. I appreciate the gesture, but no thanks. Not this time. Way to go, Chong Yoon. I respect that. And I'm starting to think that maybe this pure Yang spirit isn't such a bad thing after all. Aw. Good old Chong Yoon. He'll... Coming to terms with who he is. Huh? What the... What's gotten into you? <laughs> okay, that confirms it. I call shenanigans. Oh. Something big definitely went down here. There are definitely shenanigans afoot. But I'm sorry, Sing Cho. You're just going to have to stay in the dark. Hmm. What, we don't get to submit our poetry? Damn it. Oh, well. We got a really nice poem from... Cali Roe, so I'll call it good. Oh, I never read this one. Poetry Riddle on a Lantern. Once plentiful, it roamed meadows far and near. Above silk flowers did waters hold it dear. It po in pots one may now find its gossamer grace, fragrant, half furled, hiding heartache's trace. Guess the plant. Thank you for making it a proper riddle. Wait, is that the glaze lily? It 
I mean, they still exist, but the, I remember from one of the prior, prior quests, the one where we had to find the singing flower, or we had to sing for the flower. Um, I think it was a special glaze lily that we were after. I think that's one it is, because it, yeah, once plentiful, it roamed meadows far and wide. That's how they described that, Wh whichever flower that was. Are there any others? We originally got that one. Upon thieving hearts, its essence lies, not in silver nor gold, but gilded nests. This emblem grants them courage to rise and summon the ravens as noble guests. Guess an object. Hmm. Upon thieving hearts, its essence lies. Not in silver nor gold, but gilded nests. Hmm. Its emblem grants them courage to rise, then summon the ravens as noble guests. Huh. I mean, upon thieving hearts makes me think of the treasure hunters. Not sure about the gilded nests portion. I wonder if the ravens are literal in this or metaphorical for something else. Hmm. Yeah, I'm actually really not sure on this one. Interesting. Any others? Uh, I don't think so. All right, with this quest over, let's finish up by finishing up some of these mini games. Get our crown. Let's begin with the hundred pace hurling rights. Got some new pots, I think. Yeah. Uh, consuming pots are special holding pots created by the organizer. It will constantly move. When in motion, it will touch other holding pots and store them within itself. Pots thus consumed will not grant you any points. Oh no! A consuming pot needs to be hit multiple times consecutively to be destroyed. Three times in a row, it will grow smaller. Each hit will award five points. Each time a consuming pot shrinks it, you will gain 20 points, and destroying it completely will, completely will award 100 points. Huh. All right, got to destroy the holding pots. Excellent. None of them yet. Counted as a hit. Oh, nice. This makes it a lot easier to get these ones. That was probably enough, right? Yeah. Just need 1,200 points. Next one, we need 1,500. Uh, so they also have slight pots. Oh no, these ones are just the ones that let you fire off multiple dots, darts. <laughs> Hiding pots. Uh, will appear at certain locations after a given period. Hiding pots will change position whenever they are hit. Must be hit three times to fully be destroyed. First hit on a hiding pot will award 20 points, then 30, then 40. However, if it was not destroyed within a certain period of time, it'll be moved off the field. Right. Of course. Oh. Okay. 
you. Excellent. Come on. There we go. Stop moving. Did I? Yes. Come on. There we go. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. And... Oh, that was the last one. Oh, I think this one will give us the... There we go. Excellent. Come on. There we go. Maybe the far ones is a little harder. And last but not least. Oh. Um. Golden pots will constantly appear. Hit as many as possible to score points. After the time runs out, challenge will end. Oh, all right. Gotta put everything we got, all the skills we've developed, and apply them. I like the music. That one was... Oh, no. There it is. Come on. Perfect. We got this. Nothing in the way for the holding pots, though. It's a little surprising. Excellent. Oh, missed that one. Hey. There we go. seconds. I wonder what our score is going to be. Oh no, let's get this one. With more. Ah, didn't get all of them. Damn it. Two left. Uh, we got a good score, though. Excellent. All right. 
last but not least is finishing up the paintings. This is a good spot to paint. Yeah. Set up a chair. Get a nice cooler of drinks. And then just take in the scenery. This one should be this one. Yeah. Yeah, this is right. Come on. There we go. And tree right there. Beautiful. Let's find the next lo location. Ooh. Oh yeah, this is gonna be another good one, I think. Nice tree, some ruins. Let's see, I think it's gotta be this one. Yeah. Then the ruins right over there. And the other ones are where are the other ones? Can't quite see. Ah. Wait. I think I see the stairs over there. Yeah, there we go. Lovely. Hmm. Someone was painting up here, huh? A little precarious. Oh, they were painting, uh, Dragon Spine. That's cool. Right there. Nice. Then, see, that's, ah, I get a good view of oh, quite a few landmarks here. The Geely Assembly. Excellent. What are you doing, Boar? <laughs> what the hell? you get for always running into me. Ooh, the cathedral. Ooh, that's gonna be a good one. Uh, right there. Um, come on, right there, there we go. Then, ah, right there, come on. And finally, the dragon spine. Beautiful. There are a lot of great views in this game. It is lovely. That's why I like this event. This allows us to take in some old sites that we haven't seen necessarily in a while. Oh, one of my favorite views. Yes. Hmm. Someone's got good taste in paintings. Right, right there. Then the, uh, looks like that tower. And finally, the boat that surprisingly in the same spot. I don't think that boat's ever left. Just one of the best looking cities. I mean, all the cities have looked great in their own right. Something about Leoa, though, I just love. With the lights and everything. Alright, our final painting was apparently done on top of 
this pillar here or something? Oh no! Ow. Yeah, there we are. Wait a minute. I wonder if the answer to that one riddle was Seelie's. They have a nest. I'll have to go back and check what it was. All right, right over here. I see the tree. And... Mm. What is that? Kind of looks like it might be that. Wow, you're really playing with the field of view there. That should be way off on to the left side. <laughs> to the left. Well, that is the final... Voila. Prima gems obtained. And crown obtained. Lovely. Here we are. The ballad. Oh. Bonus experience when uh, during this event. I should probably do that now then. If I can. Let's say refine it so this one was the right within six seconds after normal charge normal or charge attacks normal attack damage will be increased by eight percent and charge attack damage increased by six percent up to a maximum of three seconds or three stacks right so constant attacks make you uh stronger basically This just increases the percentages, of course. Still, with that kind of increase, uh, by the time we hit refinement five, feels like it's actually gonna be pretty decent. Yeah, sixteen percent, so forty-eight percent uh, increase in attack. Or in, in in damage, I mean. That's a pretty nice damage bonus. This feels like actually a pretty good event weapon. For a select few characters, of course, they have to be a, a DPS tome user who uses their normal attacks. So, like I said, Yanfei, I could see this being really good for. Probably a few others. The Rio Thessaly. This would be good for him. I think the judge guy that we didn't get, I think he was a... was a catalyst user. It might have been good for him. And it's energy recharge. So that's nice. Damn it. Boreal Wolf's Tooth. I could probably go get some. No, not today. Well, I'll make sure to um, try and get that before the event is over. Save ourselves on a little bit of ex weapon experience. But it's not a big deal if, you know, if not. Um... No, no, not Seelie's. Doesn't quite fit. The whole thing about Ravens makes me think Fischl, though. She wasn't here, so it couldn't be something about her, right? Unless one of the Mondstadt guests wrote a poem with her in mind.
well, it will remain a mystery, I suppose. This was a nice little break. A fun event. Next time, though, we will continue with, well, our mysterious foggy island and the ticking time bomb island. Until then.